if you lived in or near Danvers, there's a good chance you've been to Danvers Hardware. I mean, we're coming in here every day for 42 years. Mark Fain grew up in the hardware business. In fact, Danvers Hardware has been in this building since the Civil War. We're one of the last real hardware stores around. I'm fourth generation in the hardware business. And if you needed chainsaws, snowblowers, nails, paint, hooks of all sorts, you probably found it here. Oh, and what about that washer thing? I'm coming here just looking for a washer, and he's going to take 10 minutes to help you to find the right one. You know, you wouldn't get that at like um, a big box store or something like that. Danvers Hardware isn't closing because it's not profitable. Quite the contrary. In fact, the store did very well during the pandemic. It's being sold because younger generations don't want to take over the hardware business. So the property will be sold and turned into residential and commercial properties. Yes, you're spending over sometimes 70, 80 hours a week uh, in this place, so it's not easy. Steve Sands is another family member who works here, and he has heard from many in town, and they don't like the news. Really, 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 you know, upset that you're leaving. I said, well, thanks. I appreciate that, you know. And I do construction for a living, so this is like a toy store for me. Generations of families have come to Danvers Hardware, and they keep coming. Grandfather had an account here. It went on to my father, and technically it's mine, but I can't use it anymore, so that's the tough part. And you only have until April 30th to shop, save, and say goodbye. We did it, and we did it well. Indeed, they did. In Danvers, Ted Wayman, WCVB, News Center 5. And we wish them the best, too. Yes, it is great having that neighborhood hardware store. It I is. Mean, I run into mine Me all the too. time. <laughs>